Thank you, Dylan and Patrick. I'm here at Alpine Bank, and earlier on this year, I caught up with the Senior Vice President of Alpine Bank. His name is Kent Wilson, and he was explaining to me how banking is so important to the youth and the whole community in particular. How about we take a look? So Kent, what age do you think is the right age to open up a bank account? You know, I would, I would say really at, at any age, um, you know, being, uh, Financial literacy is a, is a big issue these days and, and educating the young people as best that we can about how to manage their own finances and, and uh, their banking needs and, uh, and how to put away money for emergencies and, and savings I think is a lesson that can, can really be started early on um, and uh, so I would encourage that you know, soon, sooner than later um, and we could certainly help you with that process and be more than willing to. So can you tell us about the pays for AIDS? Mm -hmm. um, every quarter there's a drawing for uh, one uh, lucky student uh, out of that particular grade to receive $10 for every A that they get or $5 for every B with a maximum to be earned of $50. Um, and uh, it's a way for us to recognize those children that have uh, done well in school and uh, performed uh, uh, exceptionally well. So if a person did get A's and B's, where could they drop off their report card to receive that type of reward? For In Glenwood here, we have a box that um, the, the parent or the child could drop their report card in, and I'm sure it's very standardized amongst the other uh, banking locations that we have as well. So I would just say drop it off at any Alpine Bank location. So could you please explain the differences between checkings, savings, and et cetera? Um, sure. Uh, a checking account really is considered a transactional account um, and it's an account where you really uh, it would take frequent deposits and you could write your checks to really manage uh, your personal uh, daily finances um, and or your expenses and you can do that by either writing a check um, or uh, by using our uh, ATM debit card which you could use, use that debit card at a merchant to pay for, for goods and services or uh, at our ATMs to withdraw cash. Um, you can also use our online banking service to pay bills online um, and uh, really just a way to manage your, your, your daily expenses. A savings account is a little bit different. It's uh, geared up to putting away a little bit of money um, and hopefully on a regular reoccurring basis we would like to encourage a, a pattern of, of savings. How do you open up a bank account, Alpine Bank? It's, it's actually very simple. Um, the, the one caveat is that you need to be 18 years old in order to qualify for an account on your own. Um, if you are under the age of 18, um, we would ask for an adult, a parent or a guardian uh, to be on that account with you. And it simply is just uh, coming in, filling out a very uh, abbreviated application and uh, setting it up through our, our new accounts rep. Um, no minimum balance to open that account up, so um, it could be funded for $5 if you would like, but uh, um, um, very, very simple process. What resources do you provide to support applicants? Um, probably uh, what we try to do most often is to be the clients or the customers trusted advisor um, and help them with uh, any questions that they have regarding their monetary needs or their lending needs um, and again whether that's in a construction loan or an auto loan or uh, a mortgage loan or a commercial loan um, try to work with them as best we can to help educate them and, and make uh, solid recommendations as to what would best uh, satisfy their needs. Ken, what are one of the examples of community endeavors you guys have as an Alpine Bank? Um, well, Cynthia, probably one of the best programs that we have is our loyalty card program. And uh, here's an example 
of uh, what a loyalty card is. It's a debit card. This one in particular benefits uh, education, uh, which I believe is helping sponsor this Be Heard program uh, today. Um, but we have uh, various other loyalty cards. In addition to the educational card, we have an arts card, we have a community card, uh, we have an um, uh, environmental card that helps support environmental causes, a uh, CMC loyalty card, and uh, also an America's card, which helps, on, uh, helps with Latino and, and Hispanic uh, initiatives as well. So it's a way for, for us to help give back to the community in, in those particular uh, segments. So I heard you graduated at GSHS. I graduated uh, high school uh, in Glenwood in 1985. And I think the education that I got at, uh, at the high school prepared me for college, uh, which was my, my overall goal. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's, uh, and it wasn't such a big school that you, um, you were just a number, but uh, en enjoyed, had many good times there. How does it feel after graduating, going away to college and coming back home and be working for Alpine Bank? You know, it, it's funny because my first job out of college was in the insurance industry and I worked as a commercial lines underwriter for an insurance company over in the Denver area. And uh, I really enjoyed the job, but I didn't care so much for living in, the, in Denver. Um, so I made a choice to actually come back to Glenwood and uh, kind of miss the small town, miss the things that I grew up doing, um, you know, the, the mountain biking, the skiing, the, the, the camping and rafting and, and fishing and so forth. So um, it was really great for me to be able to come back to Glenwood and I'm, I'm fortunate to, to be working for an organization like Alpine Bank. It's, it's been, been great coming back and it's a wonderful place to raise uh, raise a family. I have two daughters, six and eight, and uh, and uh, yeah, so it's it's been a blessing, really. Thank you, Ken. It was such a pleasure coming here today, and thank you so much for doing this for Be Heard. My pleasure, Cynthia. Thank you.